Hello there, my name is Mauro Zicard from Bricks Templates, and today I'm going to answer one of the questions we get most often, and that is how you can actually sell your courses on Webflow with your new Webflow template. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is a question we get a lot because sometimes people are confused on what are the limitations or the capabilities of Webflow on what you can do and what you cannot do. So because of that, we're going to present you with five different options on what you can do to sell your courses from the most easy one, like the one that is super, super easy, to the most complicated. And not necessarily complicated, but the most advanced one. Okay, so let's start with number one, which is download course. Okay, so as you know, like we have a lot of uh, e-commerce templates focused on courses, for example, this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, or this one. And it is very likely that when you watch this video, maybe you, we already released one or two more, but all of these would really work on all of these templates. So, okay, let's say that you want to go with the option one, which is that you want to download the course, okay? So it is pretty simple. We can go into the template, for example, we will use this one as an example. And if we go here into the e-commerce, you will see that we have like the courses here. We have six courses listed on this kind of template sample data. If we click on one of those, you will notice that right now, by default, the product type says service. However, if you want, uh, when the user purchases the template, that they are able to just load it right away, you just need to click on this and click on digital. I will pretty much make that it is going to be like an immediate download after they they buy uh, this course. So you just need to scroll down here. You may have some course variations. You, you, you can see that we have like a basic one or a premium one on our side. And if you open one of these, you will see that you have the file name, like how you want the file to, to name that. It can be something like course like marketing course, something like that. And what, then the file URL. And this can literally be like something like, like just your uh, example.com, then like file marketing course, that's it. You can use literally any file URL in here. You can upload it directly on Webflow if you want. You can use the, like the asset functionality to upload it here, or you can upload it on a third party service that of your choice. It can be literally any service. And with that, when someone purchases that uh, that course, it is going. They are going to be able to download it right away. So, like that's the simple and best way to do that. It's completely within Webflow capabilities, and you don't need to do much work. Then we have the second option, which is the gated page with password. So for these, this is another option. Uh, it is not so common. That's why uh, it's not built into all the templates by default. But for example, the Academy template actually has that. So how this works is kind of the following. You will see that we have like a page called Purchase at Course. By default, this is a normal page, meaning like it is not, it doesn't have like any actually logic behind if you actually buy the course or not. But what you can do is the following, and I'll have to explain here. It is that you can go here into your assets, and I will try to filter, uh, filter assets by documents yep so here it is the one i i was looking for so okay you can set up your your download as like like a just like a pdf like the one in here and then you can say it says like thanks for your purchase thanks for purchasing this marketing course you can access the course in this link in this link in this case i'm like this is not a real link uh but in this link and then this is the password okay and that password is going to be the same for everyone, but they will have the, they will be able to access this page and it will can just be password protected. So here on Webflow, you can go into that page. Okay, you can go, for example, into the, um, sorry, into the learning page. Yeah, so uh, here's the page. And then if you click edit, you will be able to put a password on that page. Uh, to put a password on that page, you just need to create your Webflow account to any plan and you will see the option in here and you will be able to protect that page with a password and you're like, that is pretty much it. Then you can put the same password in your load and that way you like, they get the password and they can enter this page. 
And here you can say you, you have, we have like a, like a trailer video and then like about the course and then like more kind of videos. And you can, you, you, for example, if you click on the videos, I will show you, you can see like, it has like all of the videos like in progress and it has a very nice, uh, appeal in that sense. And then at the end, like it says, keep learning. You can, it shows you another courses that are paid and it repeats the same process. So it kind of upsells them. This option honestly works very well. We have seen a lot of people uh, implementing that. The only downside of this option is that the password is only like the same one, it's the same password for everyone. So like probably someone could uh, kind of publish a password and like that could be a problem. But that's something we had not seen happen really with some of our clients. A lot of our clients are actually using this approach and they're getting a lot of core sales. So like we believe it works. Then we have the third option, which is the third party platform. Okay. So this is probably, I think one of the most popular options. And it is that there's many LMS system, LMS stands for learning management system that help you to handle this. So it kind of works this way. So instead of actually using the Webflow e-commerce, you can just go here, go here to the page, uh, of the e-commerce page. And probably instead of adding like these buttons, you can just delete them and just add another button that actually links like to your checkout on Teachable or Kajabi or something like that. That way, all of your great design is done on Webflow. You have complete control on Webflow, but only the checkout when the user registers and all of that, it's actually done like on Kajabi or something like that. You can just add like an, a button in here, link it, uh, and that's pretty much it. Like it's, if you want to actually like link a button, let me, I will give you an example here. So for example, you can delete these two. Okay. You can add a button in here, move it in here and move it right above all of that part. Okay. Right above course details. Sorry. It's getting a little. And just to move it around. Okay. There we go. There it is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry for that. So in this place, you can just add like your primary class, primary, bottom primary, and probably like make that like by course or anything else you want. It's a little tight in here. So you can just add some, some padding. Uh, okay margin top, like 24 pixels. You're like, you can see it looks good now. So in here, you can just link this button and click get URL from courses. And then you can use some URL that you have in here. You can just create a new URL field and link it in here. And that way you can just add an individual link for Kajabi or Teachable on every course you have. So that's another option. A lot of people use it. It's really as simple as putting the button registering Kajabi or Teachable that you, if you are ready on that, it will be super easy and, and that's it. And then we continue with the number four. Okay. So number four is actually pretty similar to number two. The only difference is that Webflow just created this functionality called Webflow memberships or users that pretty much, I will actually show that to you on, on another URL. Actually, it seems the URL is memberships. Yeah, here it is. So previously they call it memberships. Now they are calling it user accounts. So it can be a little confusing on the name, but pretty much they allow you to create gated content experience by user. Okay. And they can actually pay, you can actually pay for that. So you can see that it's pretty much, you can create the users, you can create different access groups. And then for example, here in this case, it's like internal employee, customer partner. And in those access groups, you can select what pages they can actually access based on their user. So they can, you can just create that and make, for example, this page, the one that I was sharing you before, this one only accessible to the users that purchase this course. And that way you like, you have one, like you have something like this, but you can actually, you actually already have the users. Why you may be wondering, 
why we're not doing this by default on our templates. And it is because the Webflow memberships or users functionality, it's actually on beta. And even we were allowed to create one template using that functionality, it is not, it was more of like a test to try out the feature than actually uh, something that is completely ready for production because again, it's kind of on beta. So our templates right now are not allowed by the rules of the Webflow marketplace to actually implement this. That's why we had not implemented it by default. And that's why we recommend you like just how to do it in here. And okay, last but not least, it's member stack. And this is probably the mo most complicated one, but at the same time, the most advanced and you can probably do more things in there. So member stack is pretty much like a, like a login or user management functionality that you can use like to manage your courses and, and all of that. A lot of people like use it, you can even see like they have some templates in here uh, and a lot of people use it just for that. For example, they have components for like for pricing pages and based on the pricing page, you can like activate one page or the other. So you can imagine a member stack pretty much like a power up version of Webflow users. It is actually quite powerful. A lot of people use it for web, for gated content, but it can be a little more complicated to use. And you like, you probably will need to, to watch like their tutorials to see like how that works because actually it, it is a little complicated. And yeah, like I will say that is probably the last option. You can even see that we are listed as their partners. Actually, a lot of our templates, a lot of our customers with the templates use member stack and we had implemented it many times, but it can be a little complicated. And and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's pretty much it for, uh, for this video. I know these last two options may look a little complicated and that's because you know, like there are much more advanced solutions where you implement users and do like all of your gated content. But I'm super confident that these three options work perfectly well. The first option, as you can see, it's already ready out of the box. So you don't need to, you can just send the course a download. You don't need to do anything. The gated page is super simple to implement as well as a third party platform for LMS. So whatever option you choose, we wish you the best results with it. And at the same time, if you find yourself with some questions on that, we really invite you to go here at the bottom and click contact us to send us a message. And we will be more than happy to help you out with any questions you may have. So that's all for the moment. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.